They're not pets. But most everybody in a village has a dog. This, this is this boy's dog and little puppies. And here, as you can see, he's protective of his dog. One of them is tied up so his dog doesn't wander. Again, this dog from Jomney, this is the village elder's dog, the one at the top left. And these are from different regions. And I think the one at the bottom um, right, uh, he has some of that German Shepherd coloring. It's not, it doesn't fit in with the morph type, uh, morphotype of a pariah dog, although his conformation does. These are beautiful examples of the in dogs. She also noted that what you notice how erect their ears are. When they're with their owners, as you saw with the first picture, the ears come out to the side. And their tail, which is usually curved over their back, is lowered in submission. Now, these are going to be pictures of, I talked about uh, rescuing dogs. And the people, particularly in Mumbai, when you read their blogs, they are very serious about rescuing the in dogs and, and keeping an attack, and they, also, and they bring them home. Deepa, it's not dark enough for you to see, but Deepa was found um, injured, has a very deep scar in her forehead. And this is Deepa after she healed, and Deepa and she was rec uh, rescued by Nicole in Mumbai. And Dalu, this is a, a really beautiful in-dog. So you get to see an in-dog as a, as a puppy. And that's Dalu grown up. And Dalu is from uh, Darjeeling. And was found, not in Darjeeling, but found in the hinterlands. So in sum, let's look at the mixture between the in-dog and the in-dog mixes of the Lodi Garden. There's the dog from Jamni, the village elder's dog. Here's another perfect example of an in-dog. Here's our Lodi Garden group. The one in front looks like he probably is a shepherd. The one to the right, that one actually fits the in-dog conformation. And then the others, all have uh, lots of black. The one in, in the furthest back, kind of lab or whatever. But if you notice, they all have, again, the curved tail. And our guy from the entrance of the Lodi Garden. So what I prepared for you is a list of resources. And if I can figure out how to make a copy of the PowerPoint, I'll, I'll leave it at the front desk. And these were some of the um, websites where I got information about in dogs and also the animal rescue. And I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of the Lodi Gardens and of uh, the situation in India. And we can be really proud of what we're doing here at Marine Humane Society because the people in India are fighting, uh, trying to do the same thing that we're doing, but uh, much greater, uh, much fewer resources at hand. Yeah? No, when we went to India, we were there to interview journalists, generals, and uh, intelligence directors. Uh, <laughs> The, uh, there was no plan. They, we had a very busy schedule. It's just that we were fortunate to stay at the India uh, International Center, and it's right in the Lodi Garden. And it's by chance that went out in early in the morning and saw these dogs. And I mean, you know, once I see a dog, I've got to know everything. Once I saw those dogs, I, I rushed with the dogs to Parveen. And then I got her number, I called her, she told me, come out in the morning. And that's when, every time I saw a dog and I saw somebody, I just went right up to them. I was a homing dog myself. 
And then when we went to Agra, you know, most people take pictures of the scenery. I took pictures of the dogs. <laughs> so uh, I am excited. I, I, as I said to Ralph, as a result of this, I've really read a lot about Indian history. And I would like to do what, I, I can't pronounce her name properly, um, the woman from the, uh, that's why I have her name up here, Rajashri Khalap, um, do what she did. I mean, go into the tribal areas. Of course, she speaks the languages uh, of India and um, actually uh, meet more. And for those of you who can afford it, Ray Coppinger is going to Mexico City. Annie, is it February? Right, and he's going to be studying community dogs in Mexico City with a group of people. So you would have a chance to actually do in a serious way, which I did in a little ad hoc way, which is, to, which is actually to follow the lives of these dogs. Other questions? Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Thank you.